Now it's emerged that doctors are turning away patients with eating disorders because they're not deemed to be thin enough. Campaigners have told Sky News that such an approach doesn't take into consideration the mental aspect of eating disorders and leaves many vulnerable people with nowhere else to turn. Lorna Shaddock has this report. James Downs is a successful master's student at Cambridge University, musically and academically gifted. But he's also struggled for years with eating disorders. To the point where the bulimia was really taken over, I couldn't keep up with my studies and I'd even had this one attempt at an overdose and was really, really struggling. And um, the GP wrote a referral to the eating disorder service and um, when it came back I was really surprised because I had a really high level of symptoms in terms of bulimia was taking up multiple hours per day and the referral said that um, they wouldn't be able to see me because they had staffing shortages and also that I was medically stable. Campaigners say cases like James's aren't unusual and that all too often if a patient seems at a physically healthy weight they find it difficult to get the help they need. That's what former eating disorder sufferer Hope Virgo wants to change. Two years ago she had a relapse of her teenage anorexia but was turned away by her local mental health trust. Unfortunately, because I wasn't underweight, there was nothing that they could do to support me. And I remember leaving that appointment just feeling really hypocritical. I felt like a fake. Um, and I had this like relentless anorexic voice kind of beating me up constantly. Hope recovered thanks to support from family. But now she started a petition, Dump the Scales, to encourage people and doctors to see eating disorders as a mental, not a physical problem, and not to judge sufferers by their weight alone. I don't want to rewrite the whole of the guidelines. I think what the guidelines say is right in regards to BMI and looking at the whole person. But I think we need to get them implemented across the whole of the country and to actually make sure there's standard implementation and that people are checking up on this and reporting back on this. Hope's petition got over 45,000 signatures in its first week online and has attracted support from politicians. Hope's running a really important campaign to ensure that the guidelines that are out there really are uh, subscribed to because we know that too many services across our country do not follow nice guidelines and just determine whether someone can access an eating disorder service by way of their BMI. An NHS England spokesperson said all decisions about treatment should be taken jointly between the clinician and the patient and always based on best evidence and national guidance so everyone gets the right treatments at the right time. For James, campaigns like Hope's are one step towards making those aspirations a reality. Lorna Shaddock, Sky News.